Me and my friends had just realized that we could pull off the sneakiest heist I have ever been a part of. It required a helicopter, three guys, and well, a little bit of luck. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the story of how we took over the stronghold that everyone in Daisy calls Krona Castle. Our journey starts four days earlier, four days until the perfect heist took place. I had just finished looting up and made my way to the western evac where I planned to meet my friends. I'm gonna wait for you guys here. When my team arrived I got invited to the group and we met up outside before making our way inland where I placed another sleeping bag so that I could respawn if I ever did die. We then stashed away all of our best gear that we had found so far. I'm just gonna see that. That's actually quite good. Yeah? Yeah. yeah I'm like With stashes being made, that meant if we did die, then we wouldn't lose everything and we wouldn't be back to square one. Our next step was Tissy Military Base. You see, Tissy was a tier 4 military base, and this is where we could find the best loot. We were going to need some good gear if we were going to get into some PvP. Oh, VSS. Or s well, s well. And, well, with the next notification, it sure as hell wouldn't be long before we did get that PvP we were looking for. An airdrop coming in meant that we could get some really high tier loot, so we stashed away once again and made our way into the center of Tissy, where we hoped to get that airdrop. Airdrop's been deployed, okay. Okay. Airdrop's coming down. I see it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, uh, towards jailhouse, jailhouse, next to jailhouse. Go <laughs> missed. Holy shit, he's on me! I've got my protection. I don't know, he's pushing in, I think. I'm 1 HP as well. Yeah, he's pushing me in. Hey, he's dead, dead. There might be another. Here, in this room. My first kill of the white. And it was a good one too, as this guy had got all of the airdrop loot, which meant we didn't have to do any of the work. This was perfect, so we returned to the stash once again, and we're going to make our way back to the old stash, so that we could head down to the black market trader, to make as much money as possible, to put towards as much base building items as we could get our hands on. Ah, oh, so happy this is still here. You see, the black market lied 4 kilometers northeast, so we needed to get there in order to get the base building items we needed to secure the Krona castle. That meant grabbing all the best gear that we could sell and heading over there to make the money we needed. I cannot see shit, Josh. It's up to you to tell me if someone's here. Okay. We clear? Clear. It's clear, yeah. We needed to be fast. At any moment, players could pop up and kill us, and if they did, well, we would lose everything and our progress that day would be lost. We needed a flagpole kit, storage, and basically all the tools to secure Krona Castle. With 155k, I started buying all of that stuff. Yeah, I'll buy a military crit. I got that. Brother. Flagpole kit. I'll buy that. Should we buy some barbed wire to put on top of the fence so people can't boost and look over? Okay. With our mission now complete, the only thing we had to do was return to our stash, put away all the stuff we had just bought, and then scout out Krona Castle to see if it was free for the taking. Right. God. These stash bags had everything we had collected over the day, and if someone stumbled across them, well that wouldn't be ideal. We had to head 2 kilometers south as fast as possible to Krona Castle to see if it was free for the taking. Oh my god, bro. Massive base on Lobdino Castle. We have to we have to farm up and raid that. I guarantee they won't have that many doors. They can't have that many doors. Imagine that's a massive base. Look at the fucking top of it. I can't see right now. Oh shit, yeah, okay. This was a massive blow to our objective. We had wanted to build in Krona Castle for days now, and well, someone had beat us to it. 
Our only option was to find a way to raid it. Our only option is to get a helicopter and go roof down, but we have to do that like ASAP the before dazzle. they before they uh, build a roof on their platform at the top. Like you just heard, the cheapest way to raid this base was roof down, and well, the only way to get up there was with a helicopter. We still needed a base though before we could do that, and well, why not build right nearby? Log cabin, boom, easy, um, easy option. Yeah, yeah log cabin here. Yeah. Another one here then. Taken. Is it taken? Yeah. How is it? Is it taken? Oh, no, it's, it's not. A simple log cabin right nearby the castle meant that we could keep an eye on the castle's progress, and if they made any big changes, well, then we could change our objective accordingly. There's only stacks of 10 on this. No, there's 20. That might be okay, because you don't want them to be able to access it from the inside. You have to be at the pole. You have to be at the pole? Okay, yeah, that was good. With the flagpole now placed and a territory claimed, we could start building up this log cabin. Our simple log cabin base was now secure, and with a little bit of storage we could store away all that loot we had found throughout the day, place sleeping bags so that we could respawn here, and then our only objective was to farm up enough money via the black market so that we could roof down this castle base. We needed to make money as fast as possible, so we came up with a route that was going to allow us to do that. We were going to start at our starter base, make our way to the bunker, then to Tissy, then to Kaminsk, then down to the heli trader real quick just to check how much helicopters cost us, then to Black Market to sell everything. Okay, here we go. I don't know if this will set up on the alarm. Nice, best for you. Uh, on this huge break. Oh, raid bag. That's 200 slot oh, bag. That's, that's huge. Success at the bunker meant we could now head all the way up to Tissy. I found a grenade launcher. Oh my god, really? The only reason we went to Kaminsk was the fact that we had a key, and it oh. wasn't really worth it. Oh my god, bro, why did we come here? <laughs> now, if we were going to get that helicopter, we needed to know how much it was going to cost us. So we headed over to the heli trader right in the middle of oh, Northwest oh, Airfield. Holy poo. Uh, load, no load, shoot. load, helicopters, helicopters. Uh, uh, 600k. 600k was a lot of money, and luckily the Northwest Airfield held a lot of locked rooms, some of which we had keys for. These locked rooms okay. would spawn really good loot, and so we could head over to the black market and That's sell cool. everything, and that way we could sort of speed run towards that 600k we were going to need. By the end of our loot run, we had gathered quite a lot of stuff, so it was time to head from the Northwest Airfield all the way over to the black market. The black market was probably okay. the most dangerous place on the map, and quite often had quite a few players going to. One to go there. Nice. Nice. I hit him again. I'm dead, yep. Oh, God. He's dead, he's full dead. Despite dying, my teammates were able to clutch up, and we decided not to sell at the black market this time as it was getting quite heated. We returned home and logged out. The next day, we headed up to Tissy to do another loot run. Helmet, and that's we do. We were going to do a lot of these key rooms today, all over the map in fact, as they spawned really good loot and at the time it felt like this was the best way of making money, but that would quickly change in the future as we made a realisation. Wait a minute. Each and every time we got full inventories we would of course head over to the black market, but just like before it was quite common that people would be here. We just had to find them first, as there was loads of hiding spots. I see a guy running, other side, behind the stone wall. He's headshot. Yes, yes, sometimes they would escape just like that guy, but that would mean the black market was now free to use, and we could safely sell everything we had collected from our loot runs we had done throughout the day. 
These loop runs were making us money, but it wasn't really fast enough or worth the time and effort you put into these loot rooms compared to the money you got back. Yes, we were making a little bit, but it wasn't enough. The best way we were going to make money was if we used other people who had done the work for us. You see, yes, doing the loot runs and the, the locked rooms were good, but if we killed these players who had been looting for hours, then it would mean we could skip all that progress and just go straight to the endgame. From this one fight alone in VMC, we got four backpacks full of loot, and that was more than any loot run we had done that day. Now I kept day 3 rather short and that's because we didn't really get up to much, it was just a lot of looting and that occasional PvP fight. By the end of the day we had got quite a lot of stuff. We even got our very first C4 and this C4 was going to prove vital to getting into the castle. We logged out that night, fairly satisfied with our progress, but we weren't the only people making progress that night. The castle had been making even more progress than us. It had been built up so much that a helicopter was now off the tables. They had built up so that there was a roof, and to safely explain this, well, you can't go through walls or roofs. You can only go through doors, and the only door they had was their front one at the very bottom. We were going to have to make a lot more progress today. In fact, doing a lot more black market runs and selling pretty much everything in our base that we were not using. We needed to get the C4 now, not a helicopter and each C4 cost a lot of money. It was during these loot runs that we had our first interaction with the castle base. Is that you? Yeah. Where's that from? I think it's on top of the castle. I bet you can get my bags on now. Oh, I'm hit. Yeah, just back away, bro. It became apparent that these guys were roof campers also, and that gave us even more probable cause to raid these guys. It was during our escape from that roof camping that Augie had the brilliant idea of finding out who exactly lived in this castle. <laughs> there we go. With the objective now changed from getting a helicopter to getting as much C4 as we possibly could, it meant farming the black market. And by farming, I mean PvPing as much as possible around here. Keep in mind, anyone who came here was probably here to sell stuff. Just hit loads, hit loads. Dead, dead, dead. I got nice. Mom, no, I think. Hit once. Hit once, he's hit once. I don't see him. Oh, I he's see him. He's somewhere in the forest there. Hit in the leg. Hit in the leg twice. That's from you. Number. Hit in the leg three times, dead. SVD and an AUG. From this one guy, I got roughly 80k. And if we killed 10 guys, that would be enough C4 to raid the castle base, maybe. But that all depended if we could get back to base with the money we yeah. got. Gunner left on the train tracks! I'm hit once, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. He's gone far right. One's hit. I shot a one, I hit him once, but I dropped back. I headshot him, he's got a big gun, he's got a mask and helmet. Uh, on train tracks, on train tracks. One's on me. Him. Is he? I just hit this guy loads, Josh. I need help, boys. Come in, come in. Come in. Oh, you killed him, you killed him, you killed him. Oh, okay, give right on me. Uh, oh, no, he's running for you. Kill him. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, shot the spread. Oh, my God, bro. Is it just oh two? <gasps> Gen 4 and Masca. These guys had some of the best armor and some of the best guns on the server. We returned to base, barely satisfied with our new gear, and our money supply was starting to build up quite a lot. Now, we had a lot of keys that we could do around the map, and although yes I did say that the keys may not be exactly worth the time and effort, it didn't exactly mean we didn't have to do them. A few of the keys were actually really valuable and would spawn some really good stuff. Everything at this point was going to count towards us getting that C4 we needed. And of course, right every time we got full inventories, just like before, we would head over to the black market and sell everything. Sometimes there would be players there, and other times there wouldn't. You see, each C4 was going to cost us around 185k. So, if we did one loot run and it got us 100k on average, that meant every two loot runs we were doing was a C4. Over time, we were building up more and more money, 
and slowly we got some C4. This was going to be the stuff we needed to raid the castle base in the near future. This castle base was our only object of this entire wipe, so this raid had to happen. We just needed to go over and scout to see exactly how much we were going to need, or at least make an estimate. Is this locked? Yeah. We could get a Vega lockpick and steal that. Um, yeah, they got tier 2 gate, or tier 2 door. We came to the conclusion that this castle base was built the exact same way we would have built it, and it would be extremely expensive to raid. You see, once you went through this front door, there would be another one, and after that, another one. And it would be an entire wraparound system until you got to the very top, where there would be another wraparound system which would take you to the main loot. You see, because you can't go through walls or roofs or floors and only doors and gates, that meant they could put an endless amount of doors and gates to their main loot. You would have to go through each and every single one before you even got to the main loot. And that was why this castle base was such a strong base to have. To simply put this, we didn't have enough time to get the C4 needed to raid this base. There had to be another way to get in here. And right then and there, I made the discovery. That large gap that they had tried to snipe us through was their weakness. If we got a helicopter small enough, maybe, just maybe, we could squeeze through that gap. It was our only hope at this point, and so the objective changed from getting C4 back to getting a helicopter. You see, you may be asking that wouldn't a helicopter just break? Well, no, because on this server, rotors do not have collision, meaning that if we flew into a wall, the helicopter would not break. It was our only hope, and well, we needed a lot of money to make it work. Luckily for us, we knew exactly where to make a lot of money. He's dead. Yeah, but there's one yeah. more on oh, no, us. The black market is where people would come to get as much money as possible. They would gear up for hours and then come here, and so if we sort of, you know, stayed around the area, and then we could kill them and sell everything. And that way we can make a lot of cash and get exactly what we needed. We set twice. One more wave to work on. The one on your, yeah. I'm hit, I killed the other one, the other one's dead. He's hit. He's dead. At point we need to sell. Look at the money bro. Oh, oh damn. Almost a mil, we're almost millionaires. Wait, am I retarded? We are already millionaires. Behind you, right behind you. Hit twice. Hit three times, dead I think. Yep, on gone, on gone. By this stage we had all the money we needed to get the helicopter. But we wanted to get a little bit more so that we could buy C4 in case there was more doors on the other side of that gap. In between PvP runs we did a lot of key runs. And that allowed us to get some money at the black market when there was no people there to kill. We spent an entire day doing this and it was worth it because this was our most successful day yet. But we weren't the only people wanting to get a helicopter. In fact, Lopatino Castle was also making a lot of progress and no. I guess they were making it faster than us because they bought a helicopter first. This was not good. They could leave their base at any time, fly to the trader and get anything they needed. They could close that gap at any second by using this helicopter to get the items they needed. We had to be fast and that meant doing a lot more PvP. Both dead. I don't know, you tell me. No, my gun's jack. Augie, please. I'll see you. Yep. What did happen? <sighs> my gun jack. No, but how do you kill them both? I just sprayed them with a VSS. One mic. <gasps> HK417, my favorite gun. Dibs out. By this stage, our base was absolutely loaded. We had more gear than we knew what to do with, and yes, we would sell pretty much all of this at the trader eventually, but things weren't done yet. Yeah, yeah. I see him. One's dead. Yeah, nice. Other one's top floor. The other one? He's dead. Dead, dead, dead. This was by far our best day yet, and by the end of it, as you will see, we made well over 500,000 rubles just by farming the black market trader. Um, I got another stack. 15k. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, yeah. oh, bro. I'm gonna count how much we got. By the end of the day, we had amassed over 1.45 
million rubles. That was enough for two helicopters. But 600k of it would go towards a helicopter and the rest, well, C4 if we needed it. We logged out that night and we were really satisfied with how that day had just gone. Offline raided, but we had prepared for this. In fact, Josh had logged out with a backpack full of all the best stuff, meaning we lost absolutely nothing important. With all the money, we could buy our base pack again, basically. We took a little bit of money over to the black market trader and bought all the base building items we would need. The base was now ours again, and we headed out to look for sleeping bags so that we could respawn our base again. It was on our way back that something peculiar happened. Whoa. That was a C4? There's no way. There's no shot. Hey, hold on, I see red smoke. Two guys up on the roof. On the roof? Yeah. It is getting raided then. It's 300 meter shot. He just jumped off the... I what? can take him out. I can take one of them out. If you can get an angle on the other, there's two of them. Where is the other? Um. Where's the second one? I don't know. He's He's gone just a bit further down. I don't know how they even got up there. I have no they idea do. how they got up there either. I could take one out. Because the front, the front door's still on the base. He just jumped all the way down, I think. I don't know. How did he jump down and not die? I don't know. I don't know. So high up. Dude, I don't know what just happened. I took a shot of them and... I don't know what If he happened, jumped off there, he would have died. They both jumped off, though. They both jumped off. There's dead body here. Where? But it's looted. Shit, here. Dead body here as well. They're looted, though. This guy, he did fall off and die. Shit, man. Oh, Why there's cut down trees and shit. Like, I'm so yeah, confused. Yeah, this guy's here, right here. Look, look, look. Dead body here. Yeah, yeah, there's dead body here, too. Get an iPhone but this guy's well. naked. Oh my god, we have enough for another gunpowder here as well. Really? Yeah. Cause, What's uh, his name? John Exina. Nike Air Force Ones, for god's sake. How did they get up there? No way, they were like... I think they boosted up with campfires. They did! Look at the side of the base! Where? It's right there! <laughs> oh my god! That's how they... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, bro. Are you being serious? A hundred percent. They seriously did that. Oh my god. Knowing now that other players had their eyes on the riches of what was inside Krona Castle meant that we had to be fast. We had to make our move on this castle as fast as possible before anyone else got inside. As you know, over the past few days we had been making our money and building it up inside this little starter base that we had made. We had gotten ourselves a few C4 and Hopefully that was going to be enough once we got through this gap. The only thing that was stopping us, well, was the fact that we didn't have a helicopter yet. So we grabbed up 600k from the base and it was time to go buy that helicopter. The only problem was we needed three people for this raid. As you know, there was already three of us. It was me, Josh and Augie. But Augie had to go. He was spending some time away over the Christmas break with his family. So we had to trade in a guy called Locke in his place. Once that was done, it was time to strike at this castle. We're here. Hello. Hello. We got Lock geared up. I grabbed the 600k and we headed out of this base straight over to the aircraft trader. 
we needed the smallest helicopter possible to make this work. Bought. Are you feeling it? The only question we had left was was this gonna work? Was this oh, little helicopter gonna, gonna squeeze through that tiny gap? I, th I think you need to just go go the same way. You yeah, let's face this. You up. might be able to jump out. I don't know. Come on, come on, baby, come on, baby. Come on, squeeze it. Okay, I'm gonna try and get out. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. I'm out. Okay, I'm getting out. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, you're in. <laughs> Should I get out? No, no, no. No, you, no, no. You gotta stay. Go, you go, gotta go. go, 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 go you gotta come with me, Lock. Oh my God. It was now up to me and Locke to get the C4 from our base back into this base with Josh. He was going to dismantle our gap in the roof so that we could land and get inside the base ourselves. Once I landed back at base, I quickly ran inside with Locke to grab that C4. We had two, and Josh had found one inside their base, inside a thing at the top, through the gap. This was going to be perfect, as there was only one tier 2 gate that Josh could see, and one tier 1 hatch. That meant 3C4 was all we needed to break into this base. Right, there we go. Nice. You on? Yeah, we're on. Hey, get out of it. Get in, get in, get in. It's down. Just do it, just do it, just do it. I'm scared. Are you oh, good? Shit. We're good? Oh, you're good. Oh, shit, we're good. With the final explosion, we opened up the main loot room. I guess these guys didn't expect to get roofed down because it was only one C4 to get everything inside their base. Sick, I look so cool! Let me see. You guys need to get some raid backpacks. Find the biggest backpacks you can find. Yeah, 12 for as well. Another C14 temple. FN Scar, like pimp grenade out launcher, one. grenade launcher, mine. It was safe to say that this castle base was absolutely loaded, but we weren't finished yet. We needed to move everything to the top and put it in a secure room of our own. That was the only way possible that we could really secure this base for ourselves. Oh, the AX50! Whilst Josh and Locke got to work moving all the gear to the top so that we could secure it in a back room, I got to work dismantling the gates and the doors from behind. This was the only way we were able to take over the base. You see, if we dismantled everything from behind, then we could take over the base for ourselves. We could place our own door in the front, and that way the base would be completely in our control. Bottom is another tier 2 and like another... 100 planks. With me now down at the main door, I could dismantle it, and after that, I could start placing our own doors. This was exactly what we needed to do, and with this code lock right here, the base was ours. I continued securing the front of the base whilst Josh and Locke continued so fortifying here, the back room and transporting all the loot into it. I made some extra fortifications so that no one could do what we had just done to these guys. We had entire control over this base at this point. It was our castle base now and we wanted to transport all the stuff from our old base over. But keep in mind, these guys could log in at any moment, so we had to be fast. Bro, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. He's up there at the tier one door. Tier one door, he's a freshie. He's low, he's low, he's low. I hit him a bunch, I hit him a bunch in the head. I got him, he's dead, I'm down. Nice. I got you, I can get you up, I can get you nice. up. Nice. He had so much money, he had like 322 k Nice. With us still in control of the castle, I ran back, but the guy we had just killed would not be far behind me. Shush. You hear that? 
Can I move? Mm -hmm. Let's see what he does. Should I talk to him? Yeah, go ahead. Yo! Is anyone down, down there? Do you hear me? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. Long story short, we felt really bad for these guys. We had just raided their base after they put yo. so yo, yo, yo. much work into it. We let his teammates log in, and after a quick strip search to make sure they weren't hiding any C4, we let them go with all their gear. His name's Omar. Yeah, Omar, interesting. That's all he's got, this. though. We can let him go with this gear. I did. Hey, bro, we're letting you out. Can you shut the door? Yeah. Can I see your face? No. Now, knowing that we didn't have to worry about his teammates loading in, we fortified the crap out of this base. We put down so many tier 2 doors that if anyone tried to raid us, they were going to need millions of rubles to do so. We put all the loot in one corner, and that was how we secured this base. We blocked off the gaps that we had made, and the base was now ours. For four days, we grinded our asses off to raid this base, and it was well worth it. We had what may be considered as one of the strongest bases on the entire map of Chinaris. And well, you may be asking what we did with our newfound riches. Well, we took all the money to the black market and bought as much C4 as we possibly could. Two full raid backpacks we had of C4 at this point, and well, we had a little bit of fun. I'm living my best life. I wake up with the sunrise. It does not look a thing like I thought that it would. But I've been getting my steps in. And I sleep with my best friend. It's the best that it has been in a long time. I'm living my best. Sometimes this sucks to tell the truth And I took it hard like people do But I'm learning how to eat the fruit that is in season Never thought I'd be a grown-ass man But you know what they say, the best laid plans Now I'm holding on